Hey everyone, and welcome to my console speedrun strategy guide for Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. In the last part, we did the first two walkie talkie sequence skips with the dirty trick slide. And in this episode, we're going to take care of the monastery, which has a nice skip in it. So we start off by getting captured. And like in the beginning of the game, you just want to rock left and right and left and right until you can get this square or X QTE. Um, you're gonna get a checkpoint after you get up. You can reload that checkpoint and mash left and jump. You can hold left and then mash jump to get an out of bounds here. But it's not gonna save you more than half a second or maybe a second. Uh, so I'm not gonna go into it. Um, basically you wanna wait for it to get up and then stumble your way over here and into this small hole. Sometimes she gets stuck here, so in, if that happens, just wiggle your left analog stick. Skip this cutscene, and then make your way down. And we're gonna get the last weapon, which is the shotgun. So roll over here to get the cutscene. And then I'm basically just mashing R2. You can wait with mashing R2, but I'm... that doesn't matter. So we're gonna skip a lot of enemies now. And we're gonna skip um, a big part of the monastery. And this is the monastery skip. I'm gonna talk about the original method of doing it, which is faster. In the original method, you go down here, you can grab this crate, but we're not going to do that. Um, you want to get jump on this part, and then jump over here, and then you have to jump a huge invisible wall with a 180 degree jump around here, and then make your way on top of that. Now, this is so hard to do, um, so I would not advise you to go for it. You can give it a shot in training, but it's incredibly hard. What I prefer to do is jump over here, And you're going to see those three skulls, um, skeletons, um, and you want to aim for this one. Jump and aim downside during midair. So if you do it correctly, she will stick to the post. I kind of have problems right now. Mm, that should not... That's not supposed to happen. Ah, perfect. So now you aim for the statue. And you jump behind the statue. And this is all you have to do to get out of bounds. It's extremely easy. Now, make your way <clears throat> onto the outside. And it's a little bit tricky. So practice this. Jump the gaps. And when you get down here, you want to go down. And as soon as you're having the feeling that you're basically on the ground, you want to jump, because otherwise you will fall down there. And just cross it <clears throat> and get here. And this is exactly where you would be if you would have jumped over there. Make your way uh, to this part and jump on this latch. You might have to train this way more than once, but it's worth it. So, and now we need to hit a loading trigger for the final part. We want to get in this building over there, but for it to be completely loaded, we need to, uh, to hit a loading trigger. And the loading trigger is actually inside this rock. So, jump down right next to this rock, get down here, and then jump this gap. It's really important that you jump this gap, because otherwise it will fall down. And you will know that you got it is when you are here and Lara's ponytail doesn't disappear. If you di don't get the loading trigger, her ponytail will disappear. So just make your way across, jump the small gap, <clears throat> and then just jump through the rock here. And you want to clip back inside, which is you basically just jump in there. 
It's a bit tricky, but you can do it. Now, you don't want to go through either of these two, two holes, uh, because then you're just going to spawn one enemy. So I like to jump around it. Get on top of this, get your bow out, and do this puzzle, the bell puzzle. You can be a little bit quicker if you hold aiming down side, and then fast aim for this bell. It's not a bell, I have no idea what it is supposed to be. Wait for it to hit, and then close the blinds. Scroll over here, um, scramble over here, my, my mistake, and do the same thing again. <clears throat> this time don't close them, get your shotgun out, grab this ammo box, and now you have to kill some enemies, you can just wait here. Number one, get a stab back, this guy can get beefy. Just shoot him twice in the chest, and wait for the last two guys to spawn. You can get them in one shot, but it's rare that you do. As soon as you're here, you get a checkpoint, reload that checkpoint. Since we did the monastery skip, um, <clears throat> we now destroy the bell and it will break everything and open this gate and you will fall down this gate in a cutscene. If you do not reload this checkpoint, then the area below this uh, gate is not loaded correctly. So it's a bit fucked up. Now you just want to open this. <clears throat> Scramble over here. And open this. And now you could turn around and fire a shot, but I have it very rarely that when I shoot from here, it's not gonna finish the puzzle by destroying this beam. So I always make sure that I uh, am in the middle and then I fire uh, to finish this riddle or puzzle, whatever, you know what I mean. <clears throat> Skip this cutscene. And now just run. Several parts of the ground will break away. Try to do a scramble jump extension here so you don't have to grab on this latch. And want to do a jump here. And I I, I try to explain that. Um, okay, let, let me do this again. I need to, to pause more often, um, especially in, in such uh, scenes where you actually have to be kind of quick. Um, yeah, you want to do the next jump and grab the pole. And you see that uh, the, the highest point of the, the planks in front of me, which is, it's maybe two more steps. After this, the ground will break away, so try to get onto this point, and then do a jump. And try to do a scramble jump, so you don't have to, to grab again. Trigger this, and now just jump, but don't jump too far, and try to, to land on this bridge. Press left on your analog uh, on your D-pad to get out your shotgun, and immediately fire two shots to break these um, barriers. You can skip this cutscene. And then just walk forward. Are you there? I'm heading towards the palace. The others are being held there too. I'll catch up to you and we can go in together. Okay, you remember in the last part when I told you you need five arrows, two for the guys in that part and three for later? Well, we're now at the later part. So make your way across here. Those are the three guys you have to kill. Now, the best way, in my opinion, is to wait for this guy to arrive at this um, position, shoot him in the head, then kill this guy, and then kill this guy. Now, you, I'm not fast enough to kill both of these guys fast enough, so I will have to sort of cheat and shoot two arrows. It's also possible that he goes into cover. 
shoot an arrow, a rope arrow into this and make your way across. Get your shotgun out. As soon as you land, fire a shot. Cutscene. Don't scramble after this cutscene because you will, um, if I scramble here, you, she will grab onto this ledge. So just jump. For security, I get these uh, ammo boxes here, but it's not, not necessary. And as soon as you fall through this roof, there's another square or XQTE. And this is another one of those QTE that doesn't trigger all of the time. Get up. Completely ignore these guys. But have your shotgun ready. Don't grab onto the sledge and kill these three guys here. One, two, and the next one is here. and then jump as fast as far as you can. Hold to the left. As, as soon as you're in the water you're safe. Hold to the left and then hold to the right. Get your shotgun out as soon as you can. And shoot this uh, barrier. Preferably before the slow-mo. And there's another barrier you have to shoot down here. Just try to navigate carefully so you don't get killed. Skip this cutscene with circle and cutscene skip. And skip this uh, and now just press a square. And now sp spam circle. And this is the QT you have to do to open the parachute. There are two ways through this. Just learn one way and just and always do it the same way. And this is basically all we have to do for the monastery. And as soon as we're at this tree, we can skip this cutscene. Come on. Perfect. So, um, I think this is a good stopping point for this part. If you have any questions regarding the monastery skip or anything else we just did, leave them in the comment section and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, in the next episode, we're going to take care of everything in Shantytown or Skip City. And as always, thanks everyone for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next part.